A local bar will have to close its doors for a few days this fall. We have details on how to keep mosquitoes at bay, and new parking meters on Ocean Street will soon be operational. These stories and more on this episode of Barnstable Today. It's Thursday, July 10th, 2014. I'm Sarah Mannell. The compound bar and grill will be forced to close for five days in September. The establishment went before the licensing authority yesterday for a number of reported violations. Barnstable Patrolman Stephen Marr described the charges in detail at the hearing. On June 1st, at about uh, 15 minutes past midnight, I was directed by Lieutenant Murphy to go by the compound bar and grill and observe the patrons outside the front entrance for a possible violation of uh, an ordinance um, of the town of Barnstable. Upon arrival, I parked in the parking lot in front of the bar so that I could observe the front entrance of the establishment. While observing the front entrance of the establishment, I counted 21 people standing in and around the front doorway leading to the establishment. There's a raised platform that runs along the front of the restaurant and several subjects were standing in this area. Also, some of the subjects were standing on a ramp that goes from the parking lot up to the raised platform by the front entrance. Amongst these subjects, I observed at least six to eight of whom had drinks in their hands. Of those, I could clearly see that at least three had beer bottles in their hands. All of these subjects were consuming their drinks while standing outside the establishment. After about 10 minutes of observing this, <coughs> I noticed a subject in jeans and a dark colored shirt come out of the front door, point towards me, and start telling people with the drinks to go back inside. I then radio dispatched and asked for another officer to come to my location so that I could go inside the establishment. Officer O'Hare arrived on scene and we went up to the front door. As we approached the front entrance, the subject that I had observed earlier was standing in the doorway. I then asked him if he was an employee and if he was working the door checking IDs. He stated that he was. Seeing the inside of the restaurant look very full of patrons, I asked him how many people were inside. His response was, I don't know. I then asked him if he knew the capacity of the re restaurant, and his response was, I don't know. Officer O'Hare and I then went inside the establishment using a mechanical counter I began counting patrons. While I was doing this, I went to the smaller room that is on the right side of the establishment. As I looked through the glass door, I noticed that all the lights were off and there was no one in this room. Further, I noticed that it appeared the room was under some type of construction as there was a large pile of items stacked in the middle of the room. I then continued my count of the main room of the establishment. Upon finishing my count, I located a sign on the wall that indicated the main room had a posted capacity of 77 people. My count indicated that there were at least 79 people in the room. I did not count the two people behind the bar. My count also did not include the people standing outside. I then asked the passing waitress to bring the manager to me. And Erica Serrano then came up to me and indicated she was the manager. We then went outside where I advised her of my findings. I also reminded her that we had had conversations in the past about the failure of the establishment to have proper staff on hand for the amount and ages of the patrons she had inside. She concurred that we had spoken in the past and that she had notified the license manager about our conversations. While I was speaking with her, I observed the subjects in jeans, the subject in jean and white t-shirt come out of the establishment and stand in the doorway. I also observed a subject ask, a, ask I also observed the subject ask a female who came up to the door for her ID. I then asked Samaro who the subject was that was checking the ID. She stated that it was one of the cooks, but that sometimes he helps out front. Manager Erica Semino was on duty when the alleged violations occurred. She said many staff were sent home that day. Um, the day itself, as David stated, was very quiet. Terry Brennan uh, was our entertainment that night. He's a single uh, older gentleman, plays by himself, just acoustic, acoustic guitar. Uh, his following is uh, mainly 40 to 60 year olds and there were I'd say at most 15 people in the establishment. It was an extremely quiet night. Normally I keep uh, two servers on. I had told them both to go home. Uh, I usually have a bar back uh, and a bus boy. I cut them as well. Uh, so the only people remaining in the bar were myself and another bartender at around Midnight, uh, we actually even talked about closing early that night because it was so quiet. We were going to close when he finished at midnight. Um, right about that time, 
Um, maybe 20 or so Irish kids came through the door, which at first was a relief. Um, we had been so quiet that I was afraid that, you know, they're just, it was a really bad day. Um, but soon that number swelled. They, they tend to travel in packs. Um, they had just arrived, so we hadn't really experienced them coming in the bar yet. I uh, was really taken by surprise that they just swelled to so many people so quickly. Um, is to one of uh, a friend of mine who manages the roadhouse notified me that some of them had taken their drinks outside, so I left from behind the bar. I ran outside and uh, asked them to please come back in um, and that they uh, let them know that they couldn't bring them out. I do have signage uh, inside the building that asks people to please not bring their drinks outside, but a lot of them just don't, don't notice them um, uh, because it was so quiet and didn't have anybody on the door. So then I noticed the police officers were there. I actually was really relieved that they were there because this was becoming an issue that I couldn't control. Um, Officer Mark came in and I noticed him walking around the establishment, checking some IDs and counting people. He walked to the back uh, to check that back room. Uh, then he came to me and asked me what the capacity of the restaurant was. Uh, I told him 99, which is uh, what I th was under the impression it was. That's the total number. He said that because that room isn't being used, that that number doesn't count. Um, which I didn't know, I guess if I really thought about it, I would, but I didn't. Um, so at that point, he told me that we were um, over capacity, asked me about the people outside. The people that were outside were people that were asked to leave because they either didn't have a valid ID or um, were uh, underage. We don't let people in underage. So uh, those people out front, for the most part, with the exception of a few that were maybe outside smoking, um, were the ones congregating there. Uh, as was stated at the meeting that we have at the police station for liquor compliance. These kids like to travel in packs. They, they, they hang out and they don't want to leave. They, they're trying to figure out where they're going to go next. And um, I've had issues with some of them um, personally asking them to leave and they don't want to. It's been a bit of a nuisance actually this year, more so than I ever remember before. I born and raised here. I never remember um, them like traveling like this in big groups and um, it's just been a, it's been a different different experience this year. So after that, that was it. Um, I um, actually closed the bar immediately, closed anybody, any open tabs at that point so that we could comply with what was going on to try and rectify the situation. And, um, and we closed actually right at 1230. So um, that, was, that was basically it. And since then, there's been a door guy uh, on the door every night regardless of business uh, because we were taught a lesson that it can go from zero to 60 in just in a few minutes uh, and become out of control without warning. So, After much discussion, the licensing authority members found the compound bar and grill guilty of all four charges. As punishment, the restaurant will be forced to close for a five-day period beginning September 7th. Summer is in full swing, and that means it is also mosquito season. Entomologist Gabrielle Sokolsky says that there are steps residents can take to limit exposure to mosquitoes. Around your yard is perfect, emptying out containers. The other thing I can say is, again, you, you're in an area, and the Department of Public Health considers all of Massachusetts, actually, to be an area where West Nile virus is there. Mm -hmm. Um, and I would take that seriously. It's never good to be bitten by a mosquito. So for instance, if I'm outside and I'm being bitten by mosquitoes and I'm not gonna go inside and it's too hot, I don't wanna wear long sleeves. I look for repellent that's an EPA approved repellent. Um, I pick something that's been tested and scientifically shown. And you can see on the repellents, you'll see a lot of repellents on the shelves. You can look at the label and see, you know, first of all, how to use it safely, follow those directions. Mm -hmm but also see if it's been through some scientific testing, and that's where that EPA registration is. Sikolsky says so far, no mosquitoes in Barnstable have tested positive for West Nile virus. A reminder to residents that parking meters on the municipal lot on Ocean Street will soon be online. Director of Regulatory Services Richard Scally anticipates the meters will begin operation on Monday, July 21st. Abutters, including residents and businesses, may purchase a parking pass for the lot for $75. Contact Regulatory Services for more details. We'll be sure to tune in to our hour-long news program, Barnstable, this morning, weekdays at 7 a.m. On tomorrow's show, we will have our weekly arts and culture segment. We'll talk with Director of Leisure Services Patty Machado about what Veterans Beach has to offer, and we'll have all the news and information you need. For Barnstable Today, I'm Sarah Mannell.